Chances are you probably clicked on this video because you are either 1. Bored or 2. Want tips for this game. If you are here for either of those reasons hello and welcome to my tips and tricks video on the hit Roblox game Sonic.exe The Disaster. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say you already know what this game is so I'll waste no time getting right on into it. Sonic.exe The Disaster is a multiplayer Sonic.exe game made by Outlakerbooks, you can in servers up to 7 people, think of it as flee the facility. Except you don't hack computers and everyone has their own abilities. In this game you wait for the timer to reach 80 seconds. Then a big ring spawns, that's your exit. This game mainly relies on teamwork. But before I get into the tips, I want to talk about the four main characters I suggest if you're a beginner. Like many other games like this there are classes for characters. This game consists of stuns, range stuns, defense, support, mobility, recon, stealth, and healer. Today, I'll be talking about the first survivor's tales, Shadow, Sally and Eggman. So without further ado, let's start. Tails is a ranged mobile class, a part of the first trinity in Sonic.exe games. He is equipped with an arm cannon and his to speedy tails, which allows him to glide. He is of course a part of the ranged stuns and mobility classes, being the only character in the game with the glide ability. He is also the first character that shows up on the character select screen. It's basically inevitable to not have a tails in your team, but why do I suggest him as a starter? It's very simple. I will say if you do end up choosing Tails as your starter. There are a few downsides to it. Most beginners choose Tails and it often leads to Tails being targeted for that. So there's no guarantee that you won't die when playing him. He is very good for staying away from the axe though. When playing as Tails you want to stay on high ground and away from Max, but also with someone who can help you. Knuckles, Eggman, and Sally players will be your best friend in this game if you decide to start with Tails. Not only can Eggman and Knuckles save you from a grab Sally, can prevent you from being grabbed in the first place with her shield. Though with the recent 1.0 update, it is harder to land hits on Sonic because the laser is smaller than it was before. I don't have much to say about Tails, because I do not play as him very often, but I will say he is a pretty good pick for starters. Shadow is a mobility class a part of the fan-made duality. Of the Sonic.exe games, he's able to dash with his boots to escape danger. He can also block enemy attacks with his block ability. Knuckles also has this ability. You have to pay attention to how often the Sonic will attack. Then time your block just right. The dash is also very good for reviving someone then getting away. It's also good for getting to the exit faster. Though there is one thing about how he's played. That's pretty important, Shadow is very good for solo rounds. But if you choose him with a squad you can stay away from large groups or be by yourself. Though you're most likely to be hit if you stay with a really big group. But you can also die if you stay away from everyone else. It all depends on how the selected Sonic plays the game, and that's the thing about this game. Everyone has their own ways they play this game. One more thing I want to add about him is that, Unlike most the other survivors, Shadow cannot be grabbed by Sonic.exe's grab attack. When the Sonic uses the grab attack on Shadow, Eggman, or Knuckles they will do into a state, to where they have to press a button to get themselves back. Out. Being in this state, is what's called nerves of steel. If you don't press the button fast enough you will go into your bleeding state of dying. There is one good thing about nerves of steel. And this goes for when you're in your bleeding state of dying. If the Sonic can't see you while you're in your nerves of steel, or bleeding state, your HP will not go down. 
And it's recommended that if you see a Sonic camping someone do not revive them. Shadow is definitely my number one recommendation for beginners. Not only does he get away easily, but he can protect himself as well. He's good for both starters and experienced players. Where do I even begin with Sally? Sally is a part of the Defender class. She's a part of the second trinity in the Sonic.exe games. She is equipped with her shield and acrobatics to not gain a scratch while running. Her second class is the support class. She is as of now the only character with this class. Her abilities shield and get shield are what make her arguably the best character in this game now. In the old remake version, she wasn't really the best character because the EXE could grab her through her shield. But now she has gotten a lot of buffs. And she's a really good for starter and experienced players. From experience Sally is usually one of the last survivors. If she stays away enough, Staying around the edges of a map is pretty useful in this game, because the EXE usually won't check there, but be aware he still can find you when he goes invisible. Sally is a very good starter character, and honestly I think you should stick with her for a while. If you see someone being chased by Yaxi be a good teammate and give that persona shield. Hi future me here. I decided to swap Eggman for Amy for reasons I'll get into in a minute. Eggman will be in the next part definitely I can assure you that. Amy is a part of the stun and range stun classes. A part of the second trinity in Sonic, E, X, E games. She wields a hammer to defend herself against any and all monsters. Once harmless she's able to roll. She is often the one who carries the team alongside Sally. And Knuckles depending on the player playing her, she's very good for close up and far away. Though her hammer can sometimes be hard to land hits with. The reason I recommend her for beginners. Instead of Eggman is simple, her abilities can combo well. With her hammer and throw hammer abilities she's able to stun the EX. E twice in a row buying her team and herself more time. Often. A cream player will usually stick with you, or a Sally, that way she can heal more easily. Cream players depend on people who play any stuns or Sally to protect them whilst they heal someone. When you pick Amy or Pote into a state, to which your team depends on you to protect them because you can stun the EX. E unlike some other characters, while well, I would say Knuckles is the better stun, he's a little more difficult to play than Amy. You aren't always gonna land hits, because some players have the most phenomenal internet in the entire world. So yeah you have to time your attacks like most stuns. If you see another stun has stunned the EXE use the hammer throw ability. To keep the sonic down longer. If you see the EXE from a distance. Try to time your hammer throw attack by predicting where the sonic will go next. You can also use your hammer to get EX. E when he stays in an area nobody can get him at. While she is a bit more of a difficult character to start, as she's still a pretty good pick if you want to protect yourself. This is one out of the current six maps this game has. Hide and seek act to originated from a Sonic. EXE fangum called Sonic, E, X, E Spirits of Hell. This map mostly has high ground and a team, I would recommend. Is as follows. If you're on a team of six I recommend having a Knuckles and Amy. Or Knuckles and Eggman, a 
a Sally, Rouge, Tails, and Cream are your best bets on this map. While keeping your whole team alive is important, you want to focus on keeping Cream and Sally alive, those two are the soul of the team. Sally can protect you and Cream can heal you, if they die then most likely everyone else will too. There are many spots in this map that give you advantages, but two good ones to use when being chased are. The hiding box is a great one because, when you jump on top of one, it repels you a good distance. And if you hit the top side of one of the lamp posts, when jumping it does the same. But sometimes farther than the hiding boxes. There are hiding spots I recommend. If you're playing as tails in this map where you can hide. Hiding in the hiding boxes are easier when playing as tails or cream because you're smaller and less noticeable. But you still can be found when Sonic goes invisible, so keep a close eye on your surroundings. When playing as anyone on this map, when the timer reaches 80 seconds you need to find someone else to stay with as you try to escape. If you go by yourself you're most likely to die. That's all I have for this video. I'll be talking about the more difficult characters and more maps in the next part. I'll see you soon and thanks for watching.